Welcome everyone to Begin With Breath Tai Chi. My name is Dr. Adam Potts, the Tai Chi PT, and today we're gonna do a Tai Chi flow for peak performance. And so peak performance doesn't just necessarily mean athletics. You don't have to be an, an, ath uh, an elite athlete to really have performance as a value. And so performance can mean activities of daily life. So how do you perform going up and down the stairs, maybe just getting up, and, uh, up out of bed? walking down to the mailbox, or even recreational activities, such as any type of sports or uh, family activities, hiking, all these things have to do with performance. And so the stronger we get, the more flexible and the better our balance, then the better we'll perform. All right, so one of the things we wanna to do to really help our performance is to actually get all the blood and the energy flowing throughout the whole body. So we're actually gonna start off with a chi massage. So we're gonna stimulate all the energy centers, stimulate the blood flow in our whole body. All right, so you can stand with your feet shoulder width apart, all right, the knees slightly bent, being tall but relaxed. All right, then just start to knock on the chest. So stimulating energy to the heart and lungs. All right, so nice and easy. Just... All right, then we're gonna go over to one side. So tap the chest on one side, the palm faces up, and then we're gonna tap down the arm on the inside of the arm, then turn the palm over to where it faces down and then go up the outside of the arm. We'll do that again, palm faces up, tap down the hand, into the, down the arm into the hand, and then back up the arm one more time. All right, then back to the chest. Breathing, letting go of tension and stress. And then other side, palm faces up. And then we'll tap down the arm, the inside, all the way to the hand, then turn the palm over to face down. Go up the back of the arm. Coming down again. Turning one more time. All right, then coming back to the chest. Just getting all the blood flowing waking up the muscles as well. And then coming down to the abdomen, the lower dantian, which is the energy center, where we store all our energy and it's our center of mass. All right, and then we'll go to the lower back. So I'm gonna turn so you can see, and you're just gonna tap the lower back, whichever way feels best for you, however you can. All right, then we're gonna start to tap down the backs of the legs, down the backs of the thighs, all the way down towards the leg, the feet as low as you can, and then coming back up the inside front of the legs. Do that again, coming down, and then coming back up. One more time, and you don't have to go very low. Back up. All right, and then just taking a moment to feel the sensations. You might feel a buzzing, tingling. That's the chi, the life force energy. All right, and then with both hands together, we'll sink the chi. We're breathing in, the arms float up. A circle in front as if you're gathering in energy. Bring it into the heart and send it down towards the earth. Sinking the chi, grounding the energy, feeling rooted, stable. And for this sequence, you don't have to get it perfect. I'll be your mirror image. You can have a seat at any time. One more time, sink the chi. This time the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings. Then the arms float down, the palms face up. They float up the midline, pressing up overhead, and then floating out and down, holding up the sky. Opening the shoulders and chest, creating mobility and flexibility in the upper body. One more time, like a good morning stretch. This time the hands float up to the heart. One hand pushes up, the other pushes down, connecting the sky and the earth. Switching sides, keeping the spine neutral at first. And then this time if you want, you can do a side bend, nice and gentle. And then once more to the other side. This time the bottom hand comes up and then push to the corner, the other hand pushes behind and then push to the other corner. The dragon spreads its wings. This time if you want, you can turn a little more, pivoting on the feet, letting the back heel come up. 
Then once more to the other side, taking your time. And then from here, the back end swings around as if it's gliding on the surface of the water. The other hand comes around as the dragon swings its tail. It's an easy drifting across once more. And then round out, hug the tree, bring it back to center. From here, the hands face towards each other right in front of the heart. As you breathe in, the hands open slightly. As you breathe out, they come back towards each other. Breathing in, open a little bit more. Coming back towards each other. And then this time, big open as you breathe in. Ah, the accordion breath. We'll do that again, starting off nice and small. Little opening, and then a little bit bigger. This time, nice and big open. Ah, almost mimicking the movements of the lungs. We'll do one more round, the accordion breath. Big open. This time the palms face down towards the earth. Then they brush out to the corner. And then circle all the way around, back towards the hip. And then out to the other corner as we polish the table. Gentle rotation, shifting the weight side to side. One more round, coming all the way around like a figure eight. All right, this time the hands float down and they drift up to shoulder height. Then other side, back up to shoulder height. All right, this time the hands open and they drift right across the horizon. And then back down. Shoulder height, right across the heart, like we're painting on the canvas, making nice gentle brush strokes. One more time. This time the arms float all the way up and over like a big wave. And then back down. The chin circles coming all the way up just as much as you can. One more time. And then reverse direction. The arms float up to shoulder height, the hands open, and then they drift right across the horizon. And back down. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time, painting on the canvas. This time the arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can, and then back down, really opening the shoulders. <sighs> breathing, letting go. One more time. Chen circles. And this time, round out and hug the tree. Bring it back to center and soften. Then step one foot out a little bit wider. And then from here, the fingers dip down towards the earth. The hands come forward. They float all the way up and overhead. And then down the midline of the body, digging in the garden. Building strength and flexibility in the lower body as well. One more time. And then reverse direction. The fingertips point up. They drift all the way out and down. Scooping under and then back up as we harvest from the garden. Circling around. And as always, it doesn't matter how low you go. Just meeting yourself where you're at. One more time. And this time, round out and hug the tree and soften. You can step the feet in a little bit closer. And then from here, the arms open up wide. This hand drops down and drifts over to the other side. The hands switch positions, and then they float across like clouds in the sky. The hands switch again. Wave hands like clouds. Softening the shoulders, softening the neck. One more time, drift across. This time, the top hand makes a hook. Bottom hand comes up and then floats across the horizon. The palm turns out and then circle it back around. Single whip. Once more, just the arms at first. And you can keep going just like that. Or if you want this time, you can step in and then step out to the side. The hand floats across. Breathing in. 
Breathing out, one more time, single whip. You can always soften the hook arm if it gets tired. And then release the hook, let it drift over. The hands become clouds. Stepping in, drifting across, take your time, letting go. This time the top hand makes a hook, bottom hand comes up. Bottom hand floats across, palm turns out, soften. Circle back, single whip. This time if you want, you can step in. And then step out to the side, floating across, letting go. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling all the sensations that you can, bringing mindfulness to your body. This time release the hook, let it drift over, cloud hands. Stepping in, drifting across. Letting go of any tension you don't need. Breathing in and breathing out. One more time, drift across. This time step in as you make a hook. And then step out to the side, single whip. And then circle it back once more. Breathing in. Breathing out and then reverse direction. The hand comes up and over, pushes down, scoops through, and then back up. Circle it around again. The snake creeps through the grass. One more time. All right, this time stay with me here. The hook releases and then floats up and down the back of the leg and then all the way through. Other side, hand floats up, scoops down the back. All the way through the dancing dragon. Breathing in, breathing out. One more time. And then release the hook, let the hand drift over. Cloud hands. Take your time as you step in. <sighs> Breathing. You can sigh out at any time, it's always encouraged. It's like a release valve for stress. All right, this time step in as you make a hook. Step out to the side, single whip. Once more, circle it around. And then reverse direction. The hand comes up and over, pushes down, scoops through, and then back up. The snake creeps through the grass. Once more. And then from here, the hook floats up. And then all the way down the back, maybe down the leg, and then through. Other side, the dancing dragon. Breathing in, breathing out. Once more. And then release the back hand, let it drift over. Cloud hands. Connecting with nature, so we learn to move with effortless ease. One more time, drift across, and then hug the tree, bring it back to center, round out, soften, the arms open up wide. The hands float down, step in, coming on the ball of the foot, the arms float out to the sides like you're spreading your wings, the crane. You can keep your toe down, or if you want, you can lift it up, right out in front. And then one more time. This time the arms can come up and over, just as much as you can. And then stepping down, other side. Just the arms at first, the crane. And then if you want, you can lift the leg. Touching down is needed, meeting yourself where you're at. You can always go forward from there. One more time, the crane. And then stepping down to center, the hands float down, the palms face up, one hand on top of the other. This hand floats all the way up and over, and then down the center line of the body. Other side, breathe in as the hand floats up, breathing out, centering. Calming the heart, calming the mind. 
One more time, centering. This time, both arms float all the way up and over, just as much as you can. The hands float down to the waist as you soften the hips and knees. Circle in front, gather in the energy, transform into loving kindness, self-compassion right at the heart. And then back down, one more time, open the heart. The hands float up, the hands float down. This time make a diamond shape with the hands in front of the heart and then press out, sending out all your loving kindness to the world. May all beings be free from suffering. May they be happy. May they be healthy. May they live with ease. And then turning your palms to face yourself, the hands come to the heart. May I be kind to myself. May I feel connected with all beings. May I love myself just as I am. Then the hands can float down to the lower abdomen. You can step your feet together or as close as you can. You can close your eyes or keep a soft gaze and let your body rock and sway ever so slightly. Bamboo in the wind. Feeling the sensations that arise. Feel the body breathing. And then bring your attention into your heart, creating an inner smile, expressing gratitude to yourself for being here today. And if your eyes were closed, you can slowly open them. The hands can come together in front of the heart. We can finish with a bow.